I'm a horror artist and I bought a Puss in Boots coloring book for two dollars. And I'm going to be putting my horror art skills to the test as I corrupt these furry friends. I'll be transforming multiple pages from this innocent colouring book into horrific versions containing blood, gore, and even a disturbing trypophobia drawing. But I'll give another warning when that comes up, in case you need to skip it. With this innocent crayon drawing out of the way, and all those content warnings done, it's time to move on to the real meat of this video. I hope you're hungry. That is such a creepy way of introducing a video. I think this transformation might be a contender for the most teeth I've drawn in a single artwork. It's gonna be tough to beat this one. Without the boots, Puss in Boots is just a cat. So let's give him a fresh pair of boots. Emphasis on the fresh. They're still dripping. <laughs> this is so gross. Massive Texas Chainsaw Massacre vibes here. Leatherface would literally kill to get his hands on a pair of these. Or should I say, his feet in a pair of these? That's probably more apt. Puss, Kitty and Perito have had their paws all jumbled up. Draw lines to reconnect the furry friends to their rightful bottom halves. I've got a better idea. Instead of that, I'm going to act like a demented scientist and draw a twisted body morph, connecting each of these halves together in harmony. Well, that's debatable, but I'll leave that up to you.
you had to fight a 10 foot version of one of these, which would it be? A, B or C? I think I'd take on C. Can't catch me with them little crab arms. Here's a little reference for any OG Creepypasta fans. Did you enjoy my last video? I hope you did, because nobody else watched it. I sacrificed a few Prismacolor pencils for this Smile Cat transformation. Right about now, I'm going to be doing a Trypophobia inspired artwork. So if you can't handle that, skip ahead a minute or two. For everyone else, let's start counting holes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, There's a lot of holes. This is a perfect example of why you should wear protective gear while fencing. Ah, did I just make a poor pun? If you need to unsubscribe, I understand. Perito has been waiting patiently for his own horror transformation. Such a good boy.
Despite all the blood and gore, Perito is still adorable. Might eat your face off, still cute though. A little palette cleanser and a quick reminder to sometimes draw happy things so you don't spiral down a dark pit where you just draw horrific artwork. Okay? Okay, let's move on. Down we go. If you survive to the end of this horror art video, congratulations, you're one of the lucky few, and maybe you should consider subscribing if you haven't already. That way you won't miss out on future uploads. Thank you so much to my amazing patrons for supporting my channel and enabling me to bring this horrific artwork into the world. Is that a good thing?